Which shows should I watch in order to get into anime? That is the question we are trying to answer in this video. If you saw the first video in this series, we covered the platforms, the languages, and all the technicalities that you have to keep in mind before you press play on your new favorite anime. The main thing that we left out, which we are covering in separate videos, is which shows should you watch in order? Why do I even have to listen to this? Can't I just press play on a random one and enjoy it? Technically, yes, but you're gonna be at a disadvantage. There are hundreds of anime series available for you to watch across the decades. Some of them have an anime style that could be a little bit dated for your tastes. I mean, I wouldn't blame you if you've never watched an anime before and then you watch something from the 80s or even the 70s and you're like, uh, this animation style just isn't for me. So I am making this video series specifically for different types of people that could all get into anime by following this order. With that said, my first pick is Avatar The Last Airbender. Let me explain. If you're a hardcore anime fan, you probably just heard me utter those words and you were like, what in the absolute fuck is this dude saying? Let's get rid of the technicality first. Avatar The Last Airbender is not technically an anime. It is an animated series that was developed by Nickelodeon in the mid to late 2000s that gained a lot of notoriety and popularity for being one of the best animated series ever made. Taking that into consideration, the reality is simple. You're going to need an entryway into these types of stories. It's a different type of humor, story structure, action set piece style. It's a completely different way for you to enjoy a character's progression through the hero's journey. Avatar The Last Airbender then is the perfect gateway into that type of storytelling. Besides the fact that you're going to have a new set of characters that you are going to cherish for the rest of your life, you're also going to get an inside scoop into how anime stories are usually told. It's not too old, so the animation is going to be crispy. If you've heard about the series before or you watched it as you were a kid, watching it is going to give you that extra level of excitement to watch more animated stories. If you do end up choosing this one as your entryway, purists are going to let you know that Avatar The Last Airbender is not technically an anime because it was not written, published, or adapted by a Japanese studio from a manga first. However, this is one of the best animated shows of all time and has a lot of extensive media outside of it to keep you hooked. The Legend of Korra, the graphic novels, even the comic series. On top of that, the original show is a banger with great voice work, animation, character development, plot twists, cliffhangers, and of course, an ending that can hook everybody in. Once you get used to this level of storytelling, the world is literally your oyster and your descent through the anime rabbit hole can officially begin. If you want to watch it, it is already available fully uncut on Netflix and you can also watch The Legend of Korra right there after you're done. So, you watch Avatar The Last Airbender first and then you watch the sequel series right there on the same platform. Make sure you go check out this video on my my YouTube since it's covering all of the major shows, TV, and adaptations that are coming out for Avatar The Last Airbender in the coming five years. After that, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm covering the first real anime show you should watch right here. Before we leave, we have to end in a question, so let me know. What is the first anime that you remember being familiarized with? Let me know in the comments down below.